Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PMDG MD11 um, engine fire procedures tutorial. Um, what I need, or what I prefer you guys to do, or you girls to do, is to actually get the uh, PMDG MD11 QRH PDF file out. Um, it's come very handy if you do have an emergency on board. Um, QRH stands for Break Reference Handbook. It should locate it in your flight sim folder um, under PMDG MD11, um, which I need you to go to page 24. On the second half of that page is the start of engine fire checklist. Um, just read through it, just familiar yourself on what to do. Um, because I know most of the guy that come on flight sim normally just by themselves, so it would be uh, much better off if you familiar the step that you need to do in case of fire. Um, so yeah, in a, in a short moment there will be an engine fire warning, master caution, uh, master warning, master caution. So level, actually level 1 and 2 warning will come on. Okay, um, that's the engine fire um, alarm. Uh, my apologies on the master warning. Uh, master warning is on, flashing. Then, uh, right now, what you need to do is take your checklist out. Go to page 24. Um, disconnect your auto throttle. There's a switch on the side of the throttle, you click that, and then you're able to uh, pull that back. Now you go to um, fuel cutoff, and go up to the fire handle, pull that down, pull that out, and then turn. Left or right, it's up to you. Now we're gonna wait for 30 seconds for the um, fire to dismiss from the, the screen. In the meantime, you can go to your FMS, just click on um, confirm the engine out, which is on the left hand side. Um, since the warning is off, now you can go to the first step which is the um, air system either if you have it on manual then just follow the step below if you have auto you have nothing to worry about the, si the computer will do that automatically for you which is um, turn off the um, bleed air on the affected engine which is engine 1 the isolation valve switch between engine 1 and uh, engine 3 it will turn um, well, have that valve shut or off in other words once you've done that you go through the next step 
Uh, next step of the procedures, uh, which is the uh, monitor to monitor the vibration level on the airframe. You can see the is on the second second page of the engine um, page on the bottom line with the numbers on it. On the simulator, there shouldn't be anything out of the ordinary, um, out of the blue or anything like that. It should be just about 0 0.1, 0 0.2 vibration, which is fine. And then the hydraulics, you notice hydraulics one is um, low pressure because of the uh, hydraulics um, driven pump on the engine one. On engine one is off because when you put the um, fuel cut off, you cut off the engine, so there won't be any um, pressure on that on line one. So if you're gonna do anything, you will be um, you can turn on the isolation valve and um, have um, hydraulic one back on which in turn will get you f um, full auto land full autopilot instead of um, single land single autopilot um, that will about that's about it um, if you are flying or you just took off um, on, on climb and you slightly heavy if you're doing some international flight then um, the chances are you will have to fly at a low level um, well I personally don't fly offline so um, that you will have to figure out yourself on how to change level with the um, computer ATC um, if you do fly on um, networks such as VETSIM then you can request a lower level um, for the time being, you can also request a fuel dump over water, and then you might request to spot seven seven zero zero on Vexim, or you can just spot that um, spot seven seven zero zero immediately with your engine fire or after your engine fire checklist. 